Hey there guys, Qwerty Afro here, back again with another Train Simulator Academy video. Uh, we're on to the next mission. It's still AO1, uh, it's classed as AO1, and it is for the BR189 primary control, so this uh, this uh, Dutch uh, German loco, so that's going to be interesting to get to grips with that, so we'll begin that shortly. The oh, That's just beginning right now, to be honest. This is my little series I'm doing of doing all of the kind of... Uh, 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 train Simulator Academy missions and stuff, the tutorial missions and stuff, which you guys can do yourself, but I'm just doing it for the fun of it, because uh, they took away random the random button from Random Drive, so I'm just kind of like compensating by doing something other than my normal Let's Play Train Simulator video, so you know, let's Train Simulator Academy, why don't I do that? Anyway, shouts for this video go to Tyler, Fraser, Frazier, Frazier, and Simulated Diesel, that's again Tyler, uh, Fra uh, Frazier and Simulator Diesel. Their links and stuff will be down below. Give them uh, give them some love, guys. And those are the shoutouts. Let's get into this video. Welcome to the cab of this BR189 electric locomotive. You will now learn how to start and stop this locomotive. The camera will change view. Yes, we've heard this all before in the f previous uh, TS, vid TS Academy video. So let's just get on with it. Okay, the pantograph collects power from the overhead wire lines. Oh yes, <laughs> like I didn't know that. The, to raise the pantograph, you pull the lever towards you, but for now it's already raised. Okay, <laughs> so why, am, why are you po pointing it out to me? Okay, uh, let's get this train moving. You'll need uh, you'll need direction and power direction. Wait, what? You'll need power uh, direction and power. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Yep, I know that. Um, set it to forward, and again, I can't use the, I wish I could use the flipping keyboard. Uh, there are three aspects to applying power, pantograph, brakes, and throttle. Okay. The brakes stop the train. Push the lever fully away, uh, for you to release the brakes. Well, I'll just move it down like that, okay. The throttle applies power. Push the throttle lever slightly forward to accelerate. I'm pushing it forward slightly, but nothing's happening. Or maybe I have to um, exit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's paused. Can I zoom out to see what I'm actually doing? No, I can't actually move the camera. Oh, yeah. Now I can move the camera. Okay. Congratulations. You are on the move. It appears so. <laughs> can I have a look where I am? Oh, yep. Oh, we're in a little bit of a different location. We weren't in the same location where we were with the, um, the steam. Oh, we're back in the cab. <laughs> Set the throttle back to minimum to maintain speed. We don't need any power and we can just coast. Okay. No problem. However, weight and gradients when hauling trains may have effect on your speed, so a low throttle setting may be required. No problem. No problem at all. It's a nice setting, I have to say. Oh, yep, we can go. It is a nice setting where this uh, this whole TS Academy is. It is very nice. I haven't seen the main HQ building yet because... We're not near there, we're just on the kind of like testing straight line tracks to like test out the locos in the control aspect of the tutorial. So, you know, we'll get there one day. I hope we get to like the, the main HQ place, that'll be really cool. But I like the, lo I like the whole kind of orange and the, the TS Academy lo uh, the logo, that's nice. But as I said in the first part, I'm not really super keen on this like uh, not, it, uh, the only one I really wanted to see how to work properly was the steam engine but all of these other ones are pretty much easier and this is again tailored for the newer kind of uh, train simulator user which is good that's good that they're trying to get more people into this genre but for long-term players you know uh, oh hello now we need to stop for this you'll need to use the train brake pull this lever slightly towards you to apply the brakes it's pulled towards me. And I'm braking magically. Am I going to make it before the buffer? 
Oh, that's so cool. Nice little Train Simulator Academy logos on the little markers. Oh, that's nice. And we will stop. Congratulations, you have successfully started and stopped this locomotive. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyway guys, there you go, another scenario unlocked, oh well not a scenario, another Train Simulator Academy tutorial mission unlocked on the control section. This is for the BR-189 primary controls, done and dusted. Again, the, the shouts for this video go to Tyler Frazier and Simulated Diesel, their links and stuff will be down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. These are shorter videos, of course, because obviously this is a little uh, Train Simulator Academy series I'm doing, so uh, they are short. They're very, they're much shorter than my normal videos, but you know, it's something fun to do because there, this is here to try it out. So I thought, you know what, let's just put the uh, do all of these individual. I was thinking of doing them collectively, but then I thought let's just do them for fun each as like a, a individual video or whatever. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'll be still doing them pre-record I'll pre-record all of them and uh, yeah, they're going to be short, but you know, it's it's fun. It's something little, you know, if you just want to watch quickly, oh what's what, what's this mission entail or what does this tutorial entail and you want to watch someone like me do it then then I'm here for you. <laughs> anyway, uh Again, that's again Tyler Frazier and Simulator Diesel for the uh, Diesel for the shout outs. Their links and stuff will be down below. If you enjoyed the video, like and favorite and share it with your friends. And if you want to subscribe and keep up to date with the videos I post, then do that. That would be really awesome. I'll see you in the next mission for another Train Simulator Academy runabout or whatever. I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye. We ain't